breakfast television. If that music doesn't wake you up in the morning, yeah. And it was a little quiet in the studio so far this morning. You're trying to, you're going to do the Kevin Frankish voice there. That's what you told me. Well, no, I'll throw it to Kevin. Are you going to throw it to Kevin like Kevin? Okay, throw it to Kevin like Kevin. Over to Kevin Frankish in Sudbury. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> 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 he's got to stop. He's got to come up with a different one. He's going to do Frank Ferragini next. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we are here in the Sudbury Arena. We're joined now by uh, Brian Bigger, who's the uh, brand new mayor of Sudbury. Uh, not enough time for everyone to, to dislike you yet. <laughs> no, exactly. I, uh, I was sworn in on Tuesday night this That's week. That's right. So uh, thanks for welcoming us to Sudbury. Appreciate you coming down here. And uh, it's kind of interesting as, uh, as we're watching. And, and say hi to my mom because she's a citizen of Sudbury. Hi. I am now a citizen <laughs> of Sudbury and enjoying myself very, very much. But um, I have many questions to ask you off air. Uh -oh. I have an open door policy, <laughs> so that works out well. You're in trouble. Honestly, you're in trouble. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, though, as we sit here and, uh, and we watch. The lady wolves here, these these young ladies, but just over their heads, there's some incredible history that's uh, that's flying from the rafters here at the Sudbury Arena. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, you know, the first uh, point that uh, touches my life is uh, my my wife's uncle actually played on the 1938 World Championship uh, team uh, for the uh, Sudbury Wolves, and uh, his name was Tatter McClellan. He played uh, with uh, Yacker Flynn and Mono Kalpi. Uh, we've got uh, Randy Carl. Lyle, Rod Hunter, uh, Mike Foligno, yeah. Ron Duguay, Rod Shutt, all these guys played in the 70s and I watched them play here. And even even the last time the uh, the Leafs won a uh, Stanley Cup, there was a, there was a, a Sudbury influence. Well, George Armstrong was uh, the captain of the team, so uh, we did pretty well there. Uh, Tim Horton played uh, his hockey here before he went to uh, play professional hockey down south. All right. And uh, also, we, we have to uh, to point out uh, about, uh, where's the banner there? Oh, there it is. Hey, Brian, take a look at, at uh, Joe's banner. Uh, Joe's banner. Brian's gone out in the skate, so I'm afraid of him tilting up. There we go. Uh, Joe Bowen, of course, our very good friend uh, Joe Bowen, the, uh, the voice of the Leafs uh, right now. Uh, he hails from Sudbury. Yes, absolutely, and uh, we've heard that voice for many years. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, and we're going to be talking to Joe throughout the morning here, of course. We've uh, seen some clips from him uh, this morning. And these, uh, how... How important is it to keep hockey alive? Because it's more expensive than it ever was. Uh, we've got the community arenas in, in uh, the community rinks in Sudbury. We've got some arenas. How difficult is it, though, to keep it going? Well, Sudbury is uh, very fortunate. We have a, a wonderful playground association, and so we have actually uh, quite a few uh, outdoor rinks that are supported by volunteers. Uh, you know, so we we're, we're, we have that wonderful opportunity to play outdoors, and, and uh, uh, obviously uh, very uh, strong with the hockey support and hockey uh, culture here at uh, City of Sudbury. So, and, and Mom, a lot of people, a lot of people who may be watching us in Southern Ontario may never have even visited up here, but have heard that uh, Sudbury may not have a lot of greenery. Well, uh, I will say that I went to high school here uh, many, many moons ago, and at the time there was bare black rock all over the place. There was no greenery of any kind, and then the uh, forestry uh, program started. It was the university, wasn't it, that the uh, students came out? And we, we've used uh, students for many years. Students for many years yeah. to plant these trees, which seem to survive in spite of the black, the blackened rock from the. But mines. things have changed considerably over the last, even last 30 years. Sudbury is internationally recognized for their uh, tree planting and regreening efforts, and and they've actually reclaimed about 3,500 hectares of land and, and planted over 12 million trees over the last uh, uh, years since 1970. So uh, there's a there's a lot of recognition internationally on the efforts that we've done in regreening. Um, a lot of people uh, need to come up to Sudbury to uh, to see how it's changed over the years if they had that uh, former perception. All right, Brian Bigger, thank you very much. The captain of the uh, Sudbury team will say <laughs> it may it, he may think he's the captain, uh, Brad Silk, but uh, you're the captain of the the Sudbury team. So thank you very much for uh, for coming and joining us. And in fact, some of the wolves are out there on the ice right now with the young ladies. Uh, helping them out with this practice.